A new law to help protect renters is headed to the governor's desk. Today, the Senate voted to unanimously pass Mia's law. The bill is named after a young woman who investigators say was murdered by a maintenance worker who had a master key to her apartment. News 6 investigator Maris Badcock is at that apartment complex with more on the measure. Lawmakers admitted that the bill was retroactive because if the measures passed today, had been in place when Mia lived here at the Arden Villas apartment complex, she might still be alive today. Now, if Governor DeSantis signs the bill, landlords are going to be required to do a number of things, and it starts with background checks for apartment complex employees. Renters in Florida are one step closer to new protections after the Senate unanimously passed Mia's law on Friday. 34 yeas, zero nays, Mr. President. Show the bill passes. The bill unanimously passing in both chambers in front of Mia Marcano's family. The bill is named after the 19-year-old Orlando woman who investigators believe was brutally murdered by a maintenance man who worked at her apartment complex and had a master key to her unit. According to a lawsuit filed by Mia's family against the apartment complex, the maintenance man had a criminal history, a history of harassing women, and unsupervised access to Mia's apartment. Uh, we really want to... Uh give uh, Mia's family an, an opportunity. She doesn't have one uh, through the justice system because the person who uh, attacked her and killed her killed himself. The bill now heads to Governor DeSantis' desk for his stamp of approval. If DeSantis signs, landlords will be required to background apartment complex employees, people with a violent criminal history or anyone listed as a sexual offender or sexual predator will not be eligible for hiring. Landlords will also have to give tenants 24 hours notice before entering their apartments and keep a master log of who is accessing any master keys. The past few months have been unbelievable to say the least. Um, you know what my family and I have been going through, you know, words can never explain, uh, but we're grateful for the outcome of today. Hotels will also not be allowed to offer an hourly rate anymore, a measure that was introduced in an effort to help stop human trafficking. The man suspected of killing Mia killed himself days after Mia disappeared. His death was later ruled a suicide by the medical examiner's office. The passing of this bill comes days after an elderly woman was raped by one of her apartment complex workers in Osceola County, according to investigators. Now, if Governor DeSantis signs the bill into law, proof of compliance will be reviewed during annual licensing inspections. I'm Maris Badcock reporting in Orlando, getting results. News 6.